It would have been perfect. Good day, Professor Fabio. Ah, Dr. Duke, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Can I sit? Oh, please, by all means, sit. Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Anson, the professor himself, Fabio O'Connor. You're not looking bad. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, that, that's okay, man. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, don't, don't do that, please. I have some shots there, so please, please. Don't. Fabio, you're such a kind person. You are one man any woman would easily get attracted to due to your sexy nature. Thank you. <laughs> thank I've you. I've come to love you, not thank you. Okay. <laughs> Your dry sense. You dress in the most sartorial elegance. And whenever I'm with you, I lose my breath. Okay. Um. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Um. Doctor Duke, slow down. Slow, slow down. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not. Um, this is not my thing. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I can't do this. Then what is your thing? Am I not a woman? Oh, of course you're a woman. <laughs> it's not in my nature to take advantage of women. I can't do this. You've not taken advantage of me. Oh well. Okay. I just want to. Can you just stop, please? Stop. Please, stop. Stop. You make me lose my breath. I, I can't you. hold it anymore. Okay, can you just stop? Come stop. on. Stop. Stop it, please. If you're here, if you're here, if you're here for this, I'm sorry I can't help you, but if you need me to help you out with academic work, then I think, I think that's fine. What that's... is wrong with you? What do you mean? Are you impotent or gay? <laughs> None of the above, I'm fine. Come on, you can trust me. I see no reason your mouth is not responding to my presence. Was it supposed to respond? <sighs> no, I'm asking you. Yes. Do you want it to respond to you? You should. Uh, 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 stop. Maybe no, you should sorry. respond to me. Sorry, sorry. I'm not. This is this. I, I sorry. I, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Then you are either of the two. <sighs> yeah. No, I'm not. Listen, I'm perfectly okay. I'm, I'm normal. Can you please get your hands off my body so I don't get to ask you to leave? Please? Please? <laughs> Nine. There's no time. Let's not wait. Yeah. Ebere. Ebere. Your blood is always hot. If you had to go, I would not give you a why? Egbuzinoge, call her. Call her. Ah, <laughs> I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Um, yes. Hello, Papa. Good afternoon. Aha. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, Nanea. Um, how is work? Work is fine, Papa. <laughs> Thank God. How is Mama? Uh, your mother. Your mother is fine, no. <laughs> In fact, she is seated right here with me. Please give her the phone. I want to hear her voice. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah, talk to our daughter. <laughs> Hello. I'm uh, Tomato juice. <laughs> Mama, how are you? I'm fine, no. I'm fine. Mama, what, what is going on? I can sense happiness in your voice. Yes, so. <laughs> now, what happened? Guess who visited? Mama, you know I'm not good at guessing. Try now, just try. Mama, please, let it out already. I, I, don't, I don't know how to guess. Nzubechi is back. Wait, Nzubechi, 
is back from abroad. Yes, he visited us this afternoon with his father. Are you serious? How is he? My daughter, you need to sing Zubin. He's now very handsome and rich. He came to look for you. He gave your father and I 100,000 naira each. 100? Are you serious? Yes. And he even promised to pull down this old building and build a very big duplex for us. <laughs> Nzube that I know will definitely do that. That means he's made. Wait, Mama, did you ask of me? Of course, yes. You are the reason for his visit. <laughs> In fact, you have to be here as soon as possible. All right, Mama. I'll come. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hello? Hello? Zube is back. <laughs> she has gone. Women and talk. You talk, 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 talk without even considering if I have enough airtime. Uh, is that See, you money? have exhausted. You have exhausted my airtime. What is that in your hand? Money. I airtime. have money. I'll, 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 I'll go and finish it. I'll but go and finish it because I have money. Buy as and much the, as possible. And you I'll give me you another money. Go and buy it. I'll call her. My daughter, thanks for honoring our invitation, despite your busy schedules at work. <laughs> Come on, Mom. You don't have to thank me. I can't be too busy for my two favorite people in this whole world. By the way, where is Papa? He just stepped out to pick something for you. Oh, Papa, he's full of surprises. Yes, you know, you are oh, my Richard daughter, a fine daughter, tomato just sign, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're not looking bad yourself. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> I can say that again. Yes, yes. Um, Zubechi and his father, they came here to see us concerning you. I see. Well, I'm happy for Zubechi. I'm happy he made it despite all odds. I'm happy for him. Mm. I remember those days when both of you come back from school, he will follow you home and you run all over the place and then you say, Mom, I just have to go back with him. Uh, it's such a fun, you know, it's a feeling. Oh the goodness. feeling is so great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mother, I remember the good old days. I mean, we were best of friends. We do everything together, we'll play together, we'll do chores together, our assignments, we we'll study together. I mean, we are best of friends. Absolutely. And the beautiful part of it is that at the end of each term, I'll come first. So he'll come second. Or he will come first and I'll come second. I mean, ah, it's a, it's a good feeling. I, I still have it. Like, it's, it's still plays in my head. I like, can like imagine. Like yesterday. I can imagine. <laughs> That's my daughter. Do you know what? Hmm. You know you are just my mother's reincarnation. Amalichan. Tomato Johnson. Oh, anytime I see you, I just feel such a joy radiating out of me. <laughs> you are a blessing, my daughter. Thank you, Mom. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> we thank God the extent he has brought you. You are now living your dreams. Yes, Mom. <laughs> you were able to pick up a job in a law firm immediately after you were called to bar. Well, Mom, I am still working on that justice, Emecheta. I'm yet to own my own chambers. But all the same, we thank God. <laughs> my daughter, once you set your heart on a goal, it doesn't matter how long it takes, you will surely actualize it. You will get to your zenith. Amen. Just believe. I believe. <laughs> I have so much confidence in you, and I know you will make me proud. You have already made me proud, and you still make us proud. Amen. Thanks, Love Mom. You, Thank yes. you so much. I Love, love you, too. you too. Love you too. I'm Thank a rich you. Amo. <laughs> Tomato Johnson. Mama, eh? stop. The only baby. <laughs> eh? No one but you. Eh? Look at Thanks, her. Mom. See how beautiful you have grown out to be. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom.
Thank love you, you so much. Love you. Love you too, mom. <laughs> Least I forget. Zube, ask for your hands in marriage. What? Yes. Zube asks for your hands in marriage. He wants to marry you. <laughs> Just like your mother used to call you those days. You don't forget things easily, do you? No, you tell me. How do you want me to forget? <laughs> Funny enough, she still calls me that. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm not joking. <laughs> it's a good one. Well, I... I must say that you have indeed grown into a very beautiful woman. In fact, the most beautiful woman I have set my eyes on recently. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And to my untutored ears, I think your voice sounds professional. What do you expect? I mean, I'm a barrister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My barrister. You know, I can't forget those good old days. I read this teacher. What was her name? Madam... Ginnika. Thank you, Ginnika. <laughs> she walks into the class and she's like, you all are going to tell me what you want to be in the future. And then she comes to you in particular and she's like, Oinyechi Zeribe. What do you want to be in the future? And I can remember your response. With so much confidence, you just stand up and say, I want to be a lawyer. Madam, <laughs> mm, madam, I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> I mean, same goes to you. Really? Uh, yeah, you stand up as well and say, Teacher, I want to travel to Obodo Yibo. Uh -huh. I want to work with white men and make plenty of money. <laughs> So that puts us on the same shoes. You don't forget easily either. Hmm? I well, mean, I thank God for bringing us this far. That is it. Mm -hmm. I thank God that our dreams, goals, and ambitions finally came to actualization. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am so happy. I mean, if you get into my heart, you will see the joy overflowing. <laughs> I would like to take you somewhere. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where? The, the Dunford. My house, actually. I need to show you how far God has helped me. I mean, what God has done for me. Oh, it wouldn't be a bad idea for my best friend to see. Dr. Duke, you know you've not really given me a feedback on what transpired between you and my son the other day. Fabio is not warm-blooded. Your son is not easily aroused. He is utterly boring. I'm sorry to see him. Why did you say that? Mom, you can't believe I was almost close to getting intimate with him when we had bodily contact. But my plans to lure him came badly unstuck. Mom, the upshot of it all was that he declined. Does it mean that what Onini said about Fabio being gay or important is true? <sighs> she gave an account of what happened between them. Why the upsurge of interest in the opposite sex for crying out loud? Fabio is an uphill task. If I, Dr. Mercy Duke, with all my alluring beauty and my sweet, sexy physique, could not get Fabio trapped, then I'm at a disadvantage. Your son, Fabio, is 
a refined, upstanding figure of a man. He's an urban man who always wants to show off his refined manner, smooth elegance, and sophistication. I admonish you, let him be, please. Ma. Dr. Chiuk. Yes, ma'am. I don't know. I don't know if you can give me some pointers on how to tackle this whole thing. Because truly, I have exhausted mine. Very well, then. I plead you give me more time to come up with something reasonable on how to tackle this. This is your house? Yes, this is my house. Or rather, or rather, one of my houses. You don't say. <laughs> you see, I have two houses in Lagos. One in Abuja. One in Enugu. One in Asaba. And then, this. Nice one. You're doing so well for yourself, I must say. <laughs> what more can I say? Thank God. <laughs> Let's go inside. All right. I think you will see more. <laughs> Honestly, Zube, you have done beautifully well for yourself. <laughs> well, I... I owe everything my life has turned out to be to you. No. We owe everything to God. Oh, of course. <laughs> He's a creator, but um, he walks through men, and you are the God I see. You know, at the inception of this project, I faced a whole lot of difficulties, ranging from lack of funds, and then to the heavy frustration I got from the immigration officers. Hmm. It was, ah, oh God. Was it that bad? It was. But I later left Spain. You did? Yes, I, I left Spain for the United Kingdom. He didn't tell me. I mean, you stopped calling. That I am sorry about, but I I lost your contacts along the line. We both lost contacts. But one thing remained constant. Your words of encouragement to me kept my soul uplifted. You know, with all the hustle and puzzle and all the storms life threw at me, with all the pain and the things I had to endure, one thing kept ringing in my spirit. Your words of encouragement, constantly telling me how I can make it out there and how things are going to be better. <laughs> Seriously, that gave my spirit an uplift. Later along the line, business became better. <laughs> it became from up to up to up. No more down times. Yeah. And I also bettered my musical career from there. <laughs> I was privileged to do a few singles and a few collabs. And well, what more can I say? God has been faithful. Wow. <laughs> Zubi, 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's also one of the reasons I came back. Oh, yeah. A lot of times I sit down trying to figure out the right words to describe a woman like you. But you're my sister. You're my friend. You're my confidant. I mean, you are just everything. I can't really put it to words. And that's one of the reasons I came back. I want to take you out of here permanently. Uh, so, um, Noella, you see, as a professor of mathematics education, not only do I offer academic help, I also offer full-time tutorials and academic counseling for my students. I don't stop there. I keep tabs on their records and also ensure that I have my eyes on their classwork. Are you listening to me at all? Yes, bro. Good. So you're here because you're having challenges with um, um, applied mathematics, which I think you know should come easy for any student of mathematics. Applied mathematics, general mathematics, you know, uh, should be a walk in the park for you, Noella. Huh? Prof, that can wait. I am willing to offer you myself. Do to me whatever that pleases you. Noella, where is this coming from? Nothing but love. It's all love, my prof. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, please. You know, someone can actually walk in here and you know exactly what the scenario would look like. Whatever, I'm horny already. Uh, uh, listen. Both of us are two adults. And uh, we do not necessarily have to get involved in this... in this kind of situation, okay? It is not advisable for you and I to get immersed in this web of immorality. It will not do you any good. Neither will it do me any good. Let's stop it. Baby, being around you, I experience a profound sense of ennui. I am surprised because you told me that you needed help with applied mathematics. But I'm here now and I just want to be with you, please. Oh, well, um, can you take your hand off if that is why you are here? I am sorry, I cannot help you. Baby, why do you have such interest in me? Noella. You called me because you needed academic help. I responded because you are my student. I am not going to take advantage of you because you need my help. I have lived a responsible life as a senior lecturer in that institution. I'm not just a lecturer, a professor in mathematics. Please, Baby, you're not get your things together. You're not taking advantage of me. This is what I want. I want to be with you. I want us to be together. Can't you see? Can't you see Noella, is what I want? Please respect yourself and leave. All right, I'll leave. Can I come check your pizza? No, thanks. Please. Can I get you lunch later? <laughs> Oi, my barrister, my barrister. <laughs> you know, I'm actually happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Oi. <clears throat> is it now that we have both carved out niches for ourselves? 
in our various um, field of endeavors. I think um, it's time we do the right thing and become one. Well, I want you to marry me. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I don't understand. Zubi, we are age mates in our primary school days. <laughs> Please. We are both learned here, right? There is no illiterate amongst us, so age is just a number. I mean, just a mere number. It has nothing to do Zubi. with my love. Listen, I am only stating the obvious here. Which is? Oh, we are age maids and so we can't get married. Exactly. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. We have been friends right from childhood, from the days of when we were kids. I mean, I just want this bond to metamorphose into a married relationship. I think it's best for us. Why, why are you quiet? Is there anything you're not telling me? Or are you seeing someone else? Just open up to me. Oi. Good afternoon, Prof. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I just wanted to know if we can still see today. Yes, ma'am. I'm in the compound now. They asked me to come in, but I'm okay here. I'm okay where I am. Oh, you're in the compound? Okay, ma'am. I'll be waiting. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Are you okay? Ah, are you okay? Are you very, very okay? Eh? No, now we get problem. All of now we come here, they come to hustle my car off. Now we get problem. Everybody want me to be here. Eh, but no worry. When they all this crack crack go in, because my fucker go choose one person, we go win in love. And the contest, all the contention go in. <laughs> my car, car, Professor Emeritus, fine man. He comes out with you, know. Hey, God. Hey, so finally, now only one person could win in heart. Come here. Come. Namidi, God. Are you stupid? How many people are here? I said, come here. What's your name? Hey. One day for I can go by them. Hey, Kaiti, one day. So, come around. Osmo, madam. Now, only you for this old white word. No, no, my name. Okay, make I properly introduce myself to you. My name. Now I can tell them about I can see that you're very stupid. Now get out of my sight. I said leave my presence this minute. Oh, Fabio must pay for this. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. How are you? I'm fine, ma. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Okay. Come with me. Yes. Come. Go, go. Sit. 
You don't look happy. Do you mind sharing it? Ma'am, I think I'm done with Prof. I don't wish to continue. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, ma'am. I want out. No. You can't possibly want out. I'm desperately in need of an offspring from my son. I seem grieved by his nonchalant attitude. I was here a week ago as planned. He wouldn't come close to me. He wouldn't even have me. He wouldn't even let me have a bodily contact with him. Every effort I made towards him was bluffed. That's the reason you should keep pressing, my dear. And that's why I'm here. Okay. What really transpired today? Same old story. Oh, no. This is not happening again. Ma'am, I think Prof is impotent. Because he wouldn't even have an erection anytime I'm close to him. Are you for real? You will soon come into the country? That's great. So... <laughs> well, I can't wait to host an honorable like you in my castle. Who? Oh, Fabio. He's in his room. You know, I... I think you, you should come around and see if you can make him marry you. I want grandchildren from you too. Well, I don't know. I just want an offspring from him, that's all. In that case, you will have to hold on. Let me go and give him the phone, okay? All right. Hold on. No, you're so sweet. Mm. Uh, you are sweeter than honey itself. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> of course, you know you are sweeter too. You know, you are stronger than ten men put together. Ha! Yes. Odobu. Cable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you give it to me the way no man has ever given it to me. Uh, yeah. Not even my late husband. Is that so? Before you figure, up a come in. In that case, Kai will go one less, let's take one more. Prof, uh, are you not tired already? How can I get tired? I'm a stallion. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you know how sweet that honey well is? I cannot get tired. Mm. Uh, you know, you give it to me the way I like it hard and strong. Just like you <laughs> always do. And that's why my heart always goes out for you. You don't say. You're not just beautiful. You're sweet. Mm. And you get me. Oh my goodness, you get me. Which is the reason you're the only woman that I am attracted to here. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you are the only man that will always give it to me the way I want. I'll never get tired of having you. My dear, I'll call you back later. The same Fabio I wanted her to come and meet is for licking with another under my roof. Why is he doing this?
I will wait here to see the face of the woman that is with my son or death. Even if it means waiting all day, I will do that. Hey, hold it right there. for hours to see the face of the woman that has kept my son indoors. So it was actually you. You were the one disturbing the whole neighborhood with your moans. Mom, stop it. You're embarrassing my woman. Stop it. Your woman? He's a woman. She? Oh, yes. This? Uh -huh. Your woman? Yes, Mom. Oh, Jesus. Fabio, so, amongst all the women in this world, this is who you have chosen? What is wrong with her? Why play the second fiddle? Have you bothered to ask her what killed her other husband? Mom, please. This is the height of it. Oh, shut up. You don't talk when I talk. How dare you stand before me to defend yourself? Mom, I am here. Show me some respect. I am here. I'm standing here. Get out of my house and never come back. You know what? I don't even blame you. I don't. Look at... Are you... Make sure you don't come back here. Listen, if I ever see you anywhere close to my compound, I will get you arrested. Fool. that you acted out of expediency, not out of principle. You are supposed to be a reputable man considering who you are in this society. A man of class like you should not be seen digging it out with a mere widow. It's a no for me. Mother, I'm a human being. Okay, I have my needs. I have to go through various expedients to satisfy my sexual urge, mother. I am a human being. And Chiamaka, as much as you don't like her, that's the one that I want. She's the one that fits the bill. She's, she's, she's the one that I have chosen. I did not bring you up to be shamelessly immoral, Fabio. Your carelessness is not acceptable to me. Mother. Do you know that I'm a man? And I have my own life to live. I know. I know you have your life to live. But you have been proven to be proficient in mathematics. And that is why the Vice-Chancellor, other lecturers, and even the students hold you in high esteem. Why are you hell-bent on destroying everything that took you so long to build just because of a widow's ways? Ah, mother. You describe me as if I'm the worst man on earth. 
The lady in question is a widow. Don't forget. Do you hear yourself? Oh, yes, mother. I hear myself. You talk as though I'm going after another man's wife. She's a widow. A free widow. A single widow. A failing widow, mother. Son. Look, mother, please. Please. This is my life. If you'll excuse me. think so. My son is a woman killer in bed. Hmm. I never knew that before. I mean, he doesn't seem like he's that kind of a person. Emanuela. Mom. You need to keep pressing. Yes, mom. From the story you just told me, it means Prof is really good in bed. The woman was just moaning out of pleasure. Wow, this is strange. My son has a very strong sexual desire, just like every other man. Maybe he's playing hard to get. Oh, I'm not his type. Then make yourself his type. My point is, Professor Fabio is a fine gentleman. He should live a noble life and not be enslaved in the arms of Madame Chiamaka. Huh? Me, I wonder why he keeps refusing all the women who are willing to offer themselves to him without any stress. Rather, he prefers sleeping with a widow. Oga, Madame, don't try everything possible to separate him from this woman. But in the day, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this girl, I don't see, say, you want all this more money, oh, they cut out for this house, one carry, carry, go finish. You want me, I don't say, oh God, I say, anything to move person one do. Now you ain't go do. Leave Professor Fabio alone for me now. Leave him alone now. Make I tea. Make you clean your mouth. Oh, I'm going to me. Something leave for my mouth. Clean now, where? You see your life. You're supporting him. For what's he now? Ah. Oh, God. Oh, God, this girl, this girl. Oh, and no, but how many times with me I don't tell you, see? Make you need to put your mouth away to no concern you for this house. Before God, I'm mad. If they carry you, go cri cri. You don't consider this my two legs for you. You go read the sofa, wait, wait. Rubbish. <sighs> my only so, Professor Fabio, he's too cute to be single. Yes. Oh, yes. He is a nice man. He's a good man, despite all the pressure on him. Yet he is no stress. He tried every possible thing to make sure he attends to those women without hurting any of them. Despite all. Ha. Huh. That beautiful Onye is the one his mother wants him to settle down with. Then he should settle down with her. I don't say she be barrister. Oh God, you don't say she be barrister. Now the more reason why you go come out your body for weight, see high tension. If they catch you like they put you for cri cri, your eye go clear. This is the one who is telling you your blockhead. Go chop your phone. You can't do it. You can't do it. Stop. Don't try to insult me. No try insult me. No try him. I be coming for you. Go find for good job. I beg. Get out. What is wrong with you? Huh? Must you say everything? I mean, come on, you and you start this matter safe. Person, you come come your own gossip. They gossip. Why are you they gossip for you? Why are you they kind of gossip gossip thing? This one they drank me for you. This one they drank me for you. But they ruin herself. Oh God! You realize now, God is really still on. Now God is ruin. Make all these kids not agree because now me, me a guy they now need to put to the marry. Yes, now. You can imagine, you know, Nari should don't cause my problem, just the one place. Now, so me, I could just carry. But for survival like this, I carry him. I'm going to go. Yeah, come the bride. Yeah, come the bride. Oh, my village will just cut that. 
You go just cut that like this. Oh, I can't take fine kill. Oh. Oi. I made this money and came back for us. Come into my life and let's build our lives together. You, you can't possibly do this to me. Give me some time, please. I have already done that. So, I want you in my life. Come and make me a complete man. Give me more time. That's all that I ask. Is, is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? Probably uh, another man. Listen. Someone you deem more preferable. There is no man. Then what is it? No, no, like I said, no, there, there is no, there is no man, I just need some time, please. Oh, you have been my childhood friend. And I have grown so fond of you, I have fallen in love with you, and I want to make you my wife. Please. I don't love you enough to marry you. Listen, I... I can't marry you. I can't. Oh, yeah. Please. You are the only reason I came back. Please, you can't possibly do this to me. something about you that stands you out. Yeah. Something I can boldly say that I've never seen in any other man. Yeah. And that is why I will always come around whenever you call me. Come on now, she don't start. Uh. <laughs> she, you know that you have a way with words. Don't even start with me right now. Don't, don't begin to praise me. You know how I get when you do that. Huh? You're not here to talk with me, you're here to play oh. with me. Oh. I would like to play. go crazy. I can't believe I just did this to Zubi. I am ensnared by my love for Fabio. And to some great extent I've done everything possible to know if he can look into my eyes and tell me that he loves me. But no, he doesn't seem to care. I'm 
Is it? Why are you sweating like a goat being dragged to the slaughterhouse? Okay, madam, wait in my eyes, see my mouth, you know, go fit to come on. Okay, madam. Where is my son? Okay, madam, he did do something. He did do something. Are you sure my son is okay? Eh, uh, eh, uh, he okay, he did okay, where well inside the room. He did do something. He did okay, where were they? Eh, okay, madam, the dog say. His sin is believing. You could, could make you take your eye, could see him for yourself. Uh, Are you sure my son is fine? He did well inside the room. He did do well inside the room. Now he did well. He did well there. Where is she? Hell, wonderful lady can come by the Where is she? Where is she? He did well inside the room. Wonderful lady can come by the such an elegant lady. Who is she? Um, Laurel, please. Just take the car keys. Wait for me at the car. I will join you shortly. Please. Zubay, my love. You know we are supposed to go to the bridal shop for our shopping in preparation for our wedding. Do you think this is the best time to entertain random visitors? Oh. Laura, mm. the lady standing here is not a random visitor. Like you just said. I beg you, please, go into the car and wait for me. Few minutes, I'll be done. Please. Okay. Please. Okay. Really? Uzube, really? <laughs> Do you even know the meaning of love? Do you? It's barely one month that we had a misunderstanding and Boom! You've moved on. You've moved on already. Are you... Why are you sounding as if I am the bad person here? Because I am definitely not. Shall I keep reminding you how many times you've rejected me? Do you know how many times I stayed up late at night? Weeping? Do you know the trauma? Your rejection cost me. Do you even have an idea that it got to a point I was ready to 